PVL2601 case summaries. First case, applicable to the termination of engagement and the consequences of the termination of engagement. Repeat, this case is applicable to the termination of engagement and the consequences of termination of engagement. Case's name, Guggenheim versus Rosenbaum. Guggenheim versus Rosenbaum. Facts. The defendant concluded an engagement and then later denied all. Knowledge of its existence and court deemed such conduct in Uria. The court decided there should be a clear distinction between the claim for damages for breach of contract, claim for satisfaction for in Uria, which may be bought in the same action. Damages to be calculated on the basis of positive and negative interest. Next case. The, it's applicable to the lawfulness of persons of the same sex to marry. The lawfulness of persons of the same sex to marry. Name of case. Fori versus Minister of Home Affairs. Fori versus Minister of Home Affairs. The facts. An act amended to include marriage of same-sex couples. The Marriage Act was amended to include marriage of same-sex couples. Until act is amended further, same-sex partners who don't wish to have a religious marriage ceremony won't be able to get married. Repeat, until that act is Amended further, same-sex marriages who don't wish to have a religious marriage ceremony won't be able to get married. The next case, it's applicable to requirements for a valid engagement. Requirements for a valid engagement. Name of case, Schnarr versus Janssen. Schnarr as in S-C-H-N-A. Double A R versus Janssen J A N S E N. The requirements for a valid engagement. Schnarr versus Janssen. Facts. The concept of the duty to speak was discussed. Next case. The applicable to prescribed marriage formalities during the ceremony. Prescribed marriage formalities during the ceremony. The name of the case is ex parte dao. Ex parte dao. Facts. It's applicable, uh, sorry, facts. Applicant wanted marriage declared null and void because the marriage took place in a garden. The judge found nothing wrong with a marriage in a garden and the application failed. Repeat. The facts of the case. The applicant wanted marriage declared null and void because the marriage took place in a garden. The, ju the judge declared nothing wrong with a marriage in a garden and the application failed. The next ca case is applicable to requirements for a putative marriage. Requirements for a putative marriage. The name of the case is Muller versus Alselbrook. Muller versus Alselbrook. That's M O O L A versus A U L S E. B R O O K, Alselbrook. And this is to do with the requirements for a putative marriage. The facts. 
the applicant and her deceased husband went through a marriage ceremony solemnized in accordance with Islamic rites by a priest who was not duly appointed as a marriage officer. Neither spouse was aware of that fact. They had seven children. The children couldn't inherit from the father because was seen as born from unmarried parents. Argument was that marriage was putative marriage even though statutory requirements for solemnization of the marriage had not been complied with. The application was granted. The next case it's applicable to requirements for a putative marriage. Requirements for a putative marriage. Name of case Solomon's versus Abraham's. Solomon's versus Abraham's. Facts. The parties entered into Muslim marriage. No evidence that they intended to comply with the Marriage Act established those or established what those requirements are. They didn't think that the priest that solemnized their marriage was a marriage officer. Applicants sought an order declaring that union between the parties was putative, was a putative civil marriage, and that the children born therefore thereof were, was legitimate. The appellate division stated that the declaratory orders sought by the applicant are refused. Repeat the facts. Parties entered into Muslim marriage. No evidence that they intended to comply with the Marriage Act or establish what those requirements are. They didn't think that the priest that solemnized their marriage was a marriage officer. The applicant sought an order declaring that union between parties was a putative civil marriage and that the children born thereof was legitimate. The applicant sought an order declaring that union between parties was a putative